Hello Aries, it's your boy Prado G. Welcome. If you are here for the first time, I really appreciate you for coming. And if you are not here for the first time and you've been here before, welcome back. Yes, turn up, period. Y'all know I'm a really eager and excited individual if you've been here for a while by now. But if not, um, I really do appreciate you guys appreciating me as I come. And I appreciate you all as you come too. Shout out to the first fire sign of the Zodiac cycle. Shout out to all my Aries. If your birthday is between March 21st and April 20th, then my lovely friend, you are an Aries. And this reading can resonate with you on some level. Now, if it does not, leave it for um, another Aries below. Try not to spray any positive, I mean, negative energy um, about the reading. And, you know, try to keep your mind fixated and positive on the message at hand and use your own intuition to guide you through with these messages as well to correlate this message and connect it to your life because this is general and collective so it may not resonate with you all the way around and some points may like be completely you know have nothing to do with what's going on with you right now but it could resonate with another area so just you know peace love and prosperity to you all and yes let's get into it with the significant number first mm. okay we got 9, 10. Wow, I like that. 9 plus 10 is 19, too. Shout out to all the 19-year-olds almost turning 20. Um, 9 plus 10, that's like 10 again, because really, uh, 10 reduces to 1, and 1 plus 9 is 10. So I feel like there's a major sense of completion right here. Like, you're so close to the completion of something. And I know we always feel like um, that's the case, but because it is, like, we're always ending out on a cycle. Um, and then started a new one fresh. That's just what life is all about. It's like a circle, a never ending circle. Uh, it's the circle of life, right? The cycle of life. So right now, I feel like you really need to step up and be confident with how you are expressing yourself and communicating with the world around you. Because, yeah, I see and feel some sort of rewards that could be potentially coming in for you right now. And it could be really tough right now because you could be feeling like you've been working on something for a long time or just doing something for a long time or waiting for a specific outcome and result. But make sure your uh, thoughts are staying in alignment with positivity so that you can be receptive to receiving and creating the thing that you want to create and receive. So we're showing up for my lovely Aries today. Peace, love, and prosperity. Let me get some cards pulled in. We're showing up for Aries today. Oh, also, if your birthday is on um, <clears throat> April 9th or 10th, shout out to you as well. Or April 1st. April Fools. <laughs> but okay, look, y'all cracked open. Cracked open right now. Like I said, I feel like you could be at rock bottom wanting to give up. This cracked open is just like you opening up and seeing yourself and letting light in. Like seeing yourself from a different view, perspective and letting light shine through you. As you can see, this person is like, this individual in this thing is cracked open. And you just gotta get up and surrender. Like surrender, cause right now I feel like <laughs> you could be needing to remember that this is a soul plan that you are on. This life, this, this world that you are in right now, this is like, you were destined for this. We were all destined to be here and to create. So remember who you truly are. I see here with the I remember card. It's like spirit really is desiring for you to remember something about yourself because like you are spirit. You are God in the flesh. You are uh, an individual aspect of the infinite creator. And this card says, don't let the weight and intensity of the world squash your tender spirit. Instead, let it call you even more home into your body at the center front of your life. It's through the extreme pressures of life's trials that diamonds are cultivated. It's when things are at their darkest that we cultivate proper faith and our light is ignited. I just want to say something too, y'all. We are going through like a eclipse right now. Like the moon is going through an eclipse. So it could like really be affecting our energy right now and our emotions. All of us could be going through some things right now that are like really pushing us to the limit. So I just wanted to throw that out there. But this card also says it, it's through the crumbling that we can allow our wounds to be alchemized. Let our pain, sorrows, and losses make us, not break us, right? So let life alchemize our tragedies into gold. Be open to being cracked open, wide open. It's the difficult times that help us grow in leaps and bounds and in ways we could only dream were possible. But first, they have to crack us open. And sometimes it hurts like hell. It's nature's way, whether you let it happen or not. 
is going to happen. So surrender to the process is how the light gets in. When your heart cracks open, a space is created for your soul to more fully enter. And when your soul cracks open, a space is created for the grace of the Holy Spirit to enter. Let your trials, your sorrows, your pains, and your losses transform you into more and more of yourself. Stay open to the possibilities that your tra tragedies, excuse me, your losses, your sorrows, I had to get that out, ooh, ooh, and more. And your hurt happened for you, not to you. Just know that, Aries, bless the things that broke you down and cracked you open because the world needs you open. Surrender to the alchemy of life. Yeah, so that's another thing too, y'all. When we build up tough walls of not wanting to be loving and um, not wanting to see things from the unity conscious, the real reason why we are here, things will happen. Um, rock bottom. I mean, like we will hit rock bottom and crack us open when we don't really see the true essence of who we are and when we're being encapsulated in, um, like you see what I'm saying, in a box, like containing ourselves <clears throat> from really truly knowing our infinite true self. And when we know our infinite true selves, Aries, then we can truly love. So this card says soul plan. There was a moment before you were born when you chose the conditions of your life you're living right now, when you plotted out these exact moments along the timeline of your life. We live in a world of free will, and therefore these moments become our destiny only through saying yes. The fated life is the one we were born into. The destiny life is the one our soul chooses. And it takes courage and faith. So I feel like, yes, y'all know we all have been dealt a certain hands of cards, but it's about what you do with these cards. How do you play them again? And you will always get a new fresh hand and restart or opportunity and platform to recreate yourself and do new things. So um, this card really truly wants you to remember that to take courage. Um, I mean, to have courage, it takes faith. You know, you got to have faith and courage in what it is that you feel like you're destined to do and what you're trying to do here. There's something that you could be like really needing to remember right now about your soul self and um, to trust the path your soul is calling you towards and to remember that this moment was prearranged on your timeline, on your life's timeline. You may find yourself at a crossroads at a moment when you are being called to make a decision, to keep walking the perfectly laid out path before you or choose the one less traveled. You may be facing a change of career, a new relationship, a difficult decision, or something else that requires your courage or faith. You're being invited to remember your soul's greater plan and to surrender to it. When you're confronted with a path that's undefined, it's normal for doubt to rear its head. In fact, this is a certain sign. There is, a, I mean, in fact, this is a certain sign that you're facing your soul's greater plan. Every hero in his or her own Life journey comes eye to eye with doubt. The only way around it is through it. It's all part of the larger plan. So yeah, just remember that. Get up if you have been like soaking and not remembering what you came here to do or not having enough courage or faith in yourself in order to remember in the toughest of times who you are. Um, like I said, somebody broke you down, cracked you open, did some dirty, grimy-ish to you. You're going to make it through this. 9-10. Like, look, nine, ten. It's like, you know, when somebody counting the ten, and like, I'm giving you the count the ten. And I'm really going, I'm about to elevate. I'm really going to remember who I am. That's what I feel for you. Aries is like remembering who you are for real, eternally. Like, really allowing yourself to fully open up. All right, we eight minutes in already. Wow. With just two cards. So let's see what the tarot has in store for you. That jumped right out. Okay, the Ace of Earth. So right now, it could be feeling like a lack of abundance or a lack of opportunities for you. Or you just don't feel like you have enough resources here. But you are blessed. The King of Water is at the bottom of the deck, which is about being compassionate, understanding, and trustworthy. This could also be a water sign coming in that helps you turn this energy up right in your life. So... I say Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, pay attention, Aries, if you have any of those near you, surrounding you throughout this time of rock bottom or lack of abundance or whatever you feel like you might be lacking right now, um, you are supported. So uh, what I want to say, though, when I see the Ace of Earth, too, I think of like anytime I see an Ace, it's just like fresh, brand new potential and uh, something being given to you from like the divine. 
It could feel like an out of nowhere uh, abundance or opportunity. You could be blocking it too. That's another thing. That might be why they're not coming in or you can't see them right now because you're not surrendering right now. Or you might be having a hard time dealing with whatever this thing is that's cracking you open. So, oh, wow. The Ace of Water showed up right after the Ace of Earth. Look at the alignment there. Love that. But um, we got emotions, relationships, and intuition. So what this is showing me is that there's a new, there's a, going to be a potential coming up very soon for you to elevate your emotions, to start over fresh. Look at the two young children in both of these cards. It's just like, think about a child, right? When you think of children, you think of fresh energy, pureness, right? Like they don't really hold on to guilt. They just let go and let flow. They live. And this is what this energy is giving me, like a brand new emotional experience or just upgrading your relationships and even your own intuition from the situation that happened to you. But Ace of Water, look, we see Earth and Earth energy and water energy. So make sure you are staying grounded too. That's another thing. Make sure you are grounded in your knowing because that's with the Ace of Earth upside down. I feel like you might be like, really in your emotions a lot really dealing with some emotions um and you're going through the cleansing period the purification of your emotions working through your thoughts right listening to your intuition so ooh, queen of water that's cancer energy i told y'all it could be like a a cancer that's in your life right now that you could be uh about to start a new relationship with building a connection with them um, but it could also be a, another water sign. Like it could be a Pisces or a Scorpio as well. So don't just leave it limited to that, but heavy on the cancer energy. This person is loving. They really give themselves holy, maybe too much sometimes, but it's like they really can feel you on a different level. Emotionally, the queen of water is very in tune with the spiritual realm and emotions. It's like, that's the queen of emotions. When you have emotional issues, this is the person that you come to. Um, but cause like this person, they wear their heart on their sleeve. Okay. I see the renewal card. Wow. And nine plus 10 is 19. And then you got 20. So <laughs> look, the renewal card is number 20. This is about reflection, evaluating yourself. Um, this is like a, a new version of yourself after you go through, um the dark passage of your life like where you feel like maybe you been through everything you've been through the ringer rock bottom that's what that first card was talking about cracked open rock bottom but like after you hit rock bottom then you got the opportunity to be renewed and i, I feel like as you remember who you truly are this this is like a wake-up call look at how this angel in this car is actually blowing a horn it's like they're coming out of the clouds it's a beautiful bright day the skies are blue the clouds are clearing and you're renewed. At the bottom of the deck, we got Queen of Earth. Okay. This could be a new business opportunity for somebody coming in. Because look how I, I feel like Queen of Earth, that's all about your life on Earth. Like what you do on this Earth. Like how you apply yourself on this Earth. The Queen of Earth energy is super gracious, practical, capable. So you are very gracious. Like being gracious in this time is super important and practicing the things that you know and like applying the knowledge that you have. That's what the Queen of Earth does. She definitely applies every bit of knowledge that she has and brings value to the table. Very much capable. Look at that hand on hip. Hand on hip, hand on hip, hand on hip. What else we got here? For my Aries, how long are we in? Oh, 13 minutes? All right, hold on. Okay, let's get through this real quick. I wanna see what this Ace of Earth is about. Okay, we got connected to the Ace of Earth. We got the Knight of Earth. Mm, Earth sign energy. What is that? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, right? You might have a child that's a Capricorn, Aries, or Earth sign like a Virgo or a Taurus. And you might be having a hard time letting them um, become more organized and responsible for themselves or supporting them own se supporting their own selves <clears throat> but also i feel like this is about you really locking in and focusing making a plan organizing becoming more responsible and supportive in the process of this phase that you're in right now even if you are feeling like rock bottom 
what helps you get out of this rock bottom phase is literally opening yourself up to the world around you because it was you being closed off that probably put you there in the first place. You being closed off to the divine wisdom that should be running through us all at all times, right? We all have blockages from this infinite intelligence and awareness. So <clears throat> at times throughout our lives, it just depends on what we're doing, what we're entertaining ourselves, what, what we're focusing on. But underneath the ace of earth, we got the five of air. Okay. This is Aquarius energy. This is tied to the sign of Aquarius. But this is about either... It's like the game is over with something like you're done playing this game. This is about mistakes, probably. This is when you feel defeated, right? About something that you poured yourself into. It could have been a new relationship or something that you thought you were starting with a person. <laughs> and I don't know, like they was playing a game with you and you could have flipped the fucking board, <laughs> like flipped the table on them. And you could be regretting that now. Because I do see here, it's like this person on this card, it's just like a regretful type energy on their face. It's about mistakes, though. It's about not being too melodramatic, though. Like, this card has a lot of melodrama to it. It's like, you know, when somebody think they got one up on you, how they do the most, like, or like, even if you're in competition with somebody, you're doing something, and um, you're competing with a person, and they win, and they just do too much, they want to boast too much, or whatever, um, that could have been you. That could have been a mistake that you made, or it could have been about a relationship, something that you was really happy about. You boasted it, right? You was boasting about it. <sighs> Only for a disappointment to show up, but yeah, like it looks like it could have been a lack of reciprocation going on in a relationship. Like somebody just wasn't giving enough of themselves. It could have been you or the other person. But there was just a sense of lack in there sense of lack there okay we got four of air showing up after the five of air underneath the queen of water so maybe you are going through therapy right now or needing some sort of therapy because the four of air underneath the queen of water is definitely giving therapy vibes this is all about meditation recuperation and contemplation either you have the abilities to be somebody either you work through your emotions so well that it's time for you to be a therapist to other people and give that wisdom that you have emotionally and intuitively coming out of this um retreat refreshed and ready cuz look at the next card that showed up is the renewed card and at the bottom of the deck we got the 9 of water so either I feel like now with this nine of water being at the bottom of the deck there could be some sort of sadness or depression that you're going through like I said because this failing the shortcoming this opportunity that was missed in a relationship or a career opportunity and now you just either are in need of therapy in need of a friend someone to be there for you but you're so close just don't give up with this nine and ten showing up y'all remember i was telling you it's like the end of a cycle you're like really close to becoming the newest version the best version of yourself <clears throat> especially with the renewal card at the end but what showed up okay four of earth the final card, let's close this reading out. <clears throat> so the renewal card connected to the four of earth. What I see here is stability, being stable, right? And yourself, valuing yourself, knowing that you are valuable. Um, but also sometimes what happens with that, when we think that we are so valuable and we try to like, I feel like here, this is what it could be for you and what you want to be aware of in the future. Oh, look, wow, the nine of fire had to show up at the bottom of the deck. Protect yourself, definitely be prepared for this upcoming in the future. But this is about you trying to like have so much control over how, how much you give of yourself because you might be afraid that people are going to drain you or take too much or you just, I feel like this four of earth is always about having something but not wanting to give it. So... When you are renewed, Aries, when you come out of this meditation, this therapy, this recuperation, this time, this downtime, this hiatus, definitely be sophisticated. It ain't going to be, you ain't going to have no time for the bullshit. I definitely feel that. But don't be so controlling and don't be frugal. Like, don't be trying to be scarce and too stingy with your love. That's what I feel with the four of earth. I feel like that's like stingy with my love. Oh, baby. Like, look at her. Like, she just like trimming her nails and looking at the person like, okay. Like, and what can you do for me? Right? So, yeah. <laughs> Come out of that. But remember who you are eternally. 
peace, love, and prosperity to all of my areas. If you guys want to follow me on other social media platforms, make sure you click the link below in my description. They are all there. And I would love to chat with you guys in the comment section. Feel free. I'm here. Peace, love.